Okay, hey everyone. So I'm doing the short video. I witnessed some shit yesterday. Um, I witnessed a Oregon State Trooper confiscate methamphetamine from two people in a vehicle. They were not arrested. The officer took the bag of meth, dumped it into the onto the ground, and proceeded to make the girl stomp it into the ground and like smother it. Then he took the pipe, put it on the ground, made her made again the girl stomp on the pipe into the ground. None of this was picked up. So I called the Oregon State Troopers headquarters office to see what their protocol is for such procedures. Because I don't think meth and other drugs should be stomped into the ground. I, they should have a box or something in their trunk to properly dispose of these drugs instead of just throwing it on the ground. So I wasn't able to talk to a lieutenant or sergeant, but they called me back. So now I'm getting ready to call them back to get this answer. So this is where I'm at now. So I'm calling... Hi, um, um, so my question is, yesterday evening at the uh, Prairie Eden, okay, so I had pulled into the northbound, I think it's called Eden Prairie Rest Stop, right there in Wilson Wilsonville, okay, okay, um, so I was in the northbound side of the rest area, and it was approximately 6 30 ish, 7 30, about 6 30, 7 o'clock. There is a vehicle two, two parking spots over, and all out of the blue, a state trooper just kind of zooms up on him. He starts talking to him, he you know goes through his procedure of like asking to search the vehicle, and whatnot. Well, they ended up having um, methamphetamine and paraphernalia, a pipe. Um, there were no arrests made, but that's not the part that disturbs me. The part that disturbs me the most is that the officer took the bag of drugs and dumped it onto the ground and had the girl stomp it into the ground to get rid of it. And then he threw, the, he tossed the pipe onto the ground and made the girl stomp on it. Nothing was picked up. So I was just calling to see like what your protocol is when it's, Time to dispose of these drugs that they confiscate. Because I was not happy to see that it was dumped on the ground. The area that was dumped, you know, travelers take their dogs over to this area. It's an area where dogs go. And I'd hate to see a dog sniff that area and end up sniffing a whole bunch of meth and dying. Well, I understand that. So you're making... Your main concern is just with the way the uh, the evidence was um, disposed of. Yeah, I know some some departments keep like um use needle things like those use needle boxes for like heroin needles and stuff. Don't yeah. they have like anything out like that in the back of the truck that they can just be like, hey, we could just put this little bit of drugs in this bag and we could dispose of it when we get to the station. Yeah, no, that, that is uh, definitely part of the process. Um, you know, I mean, one of the, I, I don't know, how long have you lived in Oregon? Or how long have you been in I'm Oregon? an Oregon native. I was born and raised here. Yeah, so, I mean, you understand that uh, methamphetamine and heroin and... Decriminalization. Are uh, decriminalized. Yeah, so a lot, a lot of the, you know, a lot of it has kind of changed. Um, I Like, I 100% uh, understand your concern about it being on the ground. Uh, where anybody has access to We have brand. enough heroin oh. needles and stuff from finish. these addicts, and the officer did that. He, he, it was... He's aware of that, but let him finish. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, so I, like, I, I, uh, I just want to make sure, you said you were from California, so I just want to make sure you understand that, like, yeah. those drugs are not looked at the same way here as, as they once were. 
Right. Uh, but, uh, but still, obviously, there's there's uh, procedures and and they're they're there for a reason and for safety. Uh, so I understand, I understand your concern. Uh, so this is something you said. I just want to re uh, reconfirm the time. You said it was between six thirty p.m. and seven p.m. Yes. P.m. Yeah, last night. Though, yeah. yeah. And did uh, do you remember what the uh, state trooper looked like uh, at all? Like any? He was older. He was, he was older. Maybe between maybe fifty-five, sixty. Fifty-five, sixty, maybe. Okay. And kind of heavy set. He was kind of on the chunky side. He wasn't like fat. He was just kind of chunky. Had a mustache, chunky. I think. I think he had a mustache. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe he had his back turned tur tur to us the whole time. Oh, okay. Right. And you're sure it was a state state trooper? Yep. Oh, yeah. Silver car. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, I just want to make sure I got everything mm -hmm. here. Uh, so obviously, this is something that we you know we look at. Uh, we will look into internally and we'll take care of it and figure out you know who it was and and any sort of you know corrective action or anything that goes along with that i um, mean i'm not trying to get nobody in trouble i don't want no one like penalized i i i'm that's why i'm calling to see what your guys's protocol on you know when you guys when drugs are confiscated and a traffic violation and stuff yeah no uh sorry i'm just taking notes um you know it's uh Obviously, we're not we're not discarding stuff on the side of the road. Right. So, you, know, you're, you guys are 100. Um, percent No, I heard the pipe pop underneath her foot. Yeah, no, it's uh, you know, it's, it's you don't want that type of stuff uh, to happen, or you know, like you said, a dog, or you know, uh, yeah, a small child, a bird. It's a very that's a very dangerous rest area. I don't know. I found that out last night. <laughs> I don't know if you, yeah, okay, so yeah, don't, that's a, that, that, there's a reason why the state police are down there doing what they do. I, I see 